G'day everybody and welcome back to Pete's HQ. I'm your host as always, Pete Oz, and today we are in the Pacific Ocean. That can only mean one thing, it is time for War on the Sea. It is currently the 26th of October, 1942, day 80 of Operation Watchtower. Now, um, we secured Guadalcanal again last episode. We also built a, uh, a level one port. It wasn't a misclick. I, I meant to do it. And we're going to get some more fuel and supply, I reckon, up there. That's probably a, a good idea. What have we got here? Cargo three. What have you got? Supplies. All right. Um, maybe I'm not going to get more fuel and supplies. It's going to take us a while to get a level five port there. It would be, would be very, very handy, but probably don't need it in this late stage of the campaign. What we are doing though is Cargo 3 is moving dangerously close to Guadalcanal. They are going to load up um, troops and we're gonna head straight till, uh, sorry, straight to Malaysia and uh, uh, unload them there. There is a situation there. There is 1,783 troops. Um, it's ticked up in our favor, so that's not too bad. Let's swap over to a New Guinea. Um, as you can see, Milne Bay, they are holding on. Absolute skin of their teeth there. Um, 7,000 supply and 944 troops. Uh, Port Moresby, they are in desperate situation there. Um, 823 troops, 4,000 supply. And that is firmly in the Japanese grasp, I would say. We do have Task Force 34, which is about two and a half hours away. They've got some total of 500 troops heading to um, to help. Task Force CA, our uh, cruiser task force, they are heading uh, up. I reckon they are going to um, take Task Force Echo's place. I'm going to allow Task Force Echo to come back and, uh, and rest and repair. We do have 106 command points. We can get a few more ships. Um, I did. I did want a third aircraft carrier. But I reckon we might uh, we might just hold off there for the moment. So what we're going to do now is what we do always is we're going to speed up time and I will bring you guys back in when the action kicks off. Our destroyers have uh, made it to Port Moresby. I was going to say landed to Port Moresby. They haven't quite landed per se. It's more of a more of a made it to Port Moresby than a landing. So let's uh, let's unload troops there. That gives us thirteen hundred men on the ground. Let's have a look here. Ooh, still um, still up in the air, that one. What we will do, though, is do we want to run these guys back down for some more troops, or do we want to just leave them leave them there? If we run them back down for more troops from Rennell Island, um, you know what? I think that's what we might do. Let's grab Task Force 34, bring them to Rennell Island, um, geez, it's going to take 30 hours to get there. That is that is a crazy amount of time. Unfortunately, that's what has to happen. Our troops on cargo three are loaded. We have a total of um, 1,250 troops there and then uh, 4,000 supply. So we're going to make sure the garrison that's attacking uh, Malete is well and truly supplied with bullets and beans. So it is currently nearly quarter past three in the afternoon. Absolutely no sign of the Imperial Japanese Navy just yet. So we're going to speed up time and uh, and see if they come out to play. As the sun sets, a cargo task force three approaches Malete. So we are going to unload all cargo at Malete. And let's have a look at the situation on the ground now. That is very much in our favor. So that is that is good. We will do though is cargo three. I might just move you here. And we do have another cargo ship coming in. Um, um and they have another 2,000 supply on board. So they're gonna be very, very well supplied very soon. Um do we bring sub one down, grab some more troops and take another couple of these? There was a suggestion in the comments that we do it, and you know what? Let's let's get it done. All right, four hours to bring some troops in. So that is what the day has brought us. Let's see what nighttime action happens, shall we? 
In the dead of the night, uh, Task Force CA made it to Malete. They have taken point from Task Force Echo, who is heading back to New Hebrides for uh, rest and repair, because Lord knows they need it. So what we need to do now is we need to plot our patrol craft from Task Force CA, because quite frankly, we do not need any surprises um, from the Imperial Japanese Navy. Not not a thing. We don't we don't want anything. Portland, give me give me something. I might as well just go like that, I reckon. Um, sounds good to me. All right, give me Quincy. What have you got, my friend? Um, I reckon we're going to take you down this way. That's, that looks like a very good patrol route to me. Actually, no, we're going to go this way up here, and then you may as well just finish it off and come back down. That looks that looks good. Um, Task Force CA is in a very, very a good position now. Um still tempted all right sub um one herring you've come what can you get me you can't launch handcraft but you can manage cargo you can give me 60 troops um and then you can head that's a terrible course you can head here and we'll uh we'll take that if we can uh just put expeditionary forces onto the ports that the japanese don't control and and, and uh uncontested that might give them something to think about and they can leave quite a canal and the ones that uh, we do firmly control alone I do I'm, I'm thinking about getting more ships but it is it is just a thought at this stage let's um pause up again and um speed up time and I'll see you guys when the action kicks off once again we have a task force coming down the slot so let's see what we have here. We have three light cruisers and three destroyers. Um, aircraft have already been dispatched from Guadalcanal, Walrus, and Enterprise. I said Walrus, I meant Wasp. I was reading the aircraft name down here as I was speaking. <laughs> um, Avengers are inbound. Um, we have rocket-laden Avengers from our aircraft carriers, and uh, Guadalcanal is... Um, well, they're bringing Mark 14s to the party, so probably, probably just, um, probably nothing. <laughs> Quite a canal. Let's, uh, let's retreat, radio the information in, and hopefully the aircraft can intercept. Avengers from Enterprise and also Guadalcanal are the first on the scene. Um, we, haven't, we haven't got contact with the Task Force yet, and there they are. Oh, shit, let's pause up, because what I actually want to do, so I'm thinking about bringing in these guys first. They're our, they're our torpedo bombers from um, from um, Guadalcanal. So if we bring if we bring them in, if we bring them in first, and hopefully they can um, get in a decent position. Actually, you know what? It doesn't really matter. Um, we're just going to go in. Stop it. Let's go in. Let's go in. All right, what do we got here? Um, a light cruiser. Do we take out a light cruiser or do we take out the destroyers? I'm going to go... One of these light cruisers is going to be our torpedo victim. So, honestly, you guys can target number two and attack. Um, I'll just leave it at that for the moment. Um, you guys in purple squadron, you guys can take the destroyer. And attack him. Let's uh, let's get it done. You'd imagine by now the Japanese have noticed what's going on. Um, you can 100% see the aircraft from the bridge of the uh, of the light cruisers. Those um, anti-aircraft guns will be getting manned as we speak. Oh, here's a. Uh, Here's our two here. What are we... Hmm, are we the wrong side of the task force? Let's have a look. No, it shouldn't be. What are these? No. Not the wrong target at all. Alright, I want you to go... 
Target number. Whoa, whoa, what are they? Oh, float planes. That's what they were. That's fine. That's fine. Japanese float planes. I'm not too worried about them, to be honest. Um, our rear gunners are going to get some target practice in. This one's already smoking, so that is uh, that's excellent. The task force is moving. That is really annoying. That gun sound is really... <laughs> Might move up this way, actually. Um, you guys, I want you all to go up here. Um, form up. This way. Um, form up as well. Cease attack. And... Okay, you guys, to come up. Let's come up here. We just... Anti-aircraft fires come up from the task force. I just wasn't happy with the angles, to be honest. I wasn't impressed. All right, that's probably better for this uh, this one. All right, so what we'll do is we'll go. You guys can attack now. Come in and attack. Um, you guys can attack number two now. Alright, you can hear the anti-aircraft guns from those destroyers. We have a smoking plane, and that's no good. Alright, let's go. Here we go. Rockets are away. Great hits. Great hits. Oh, there, that is a lot of flame. You can hear. Again, wonderful. Alright, let's... I want all of you. Climb. Go. Get out of here. Just get out of here. Pull up on those sticks. Pull up on those sticks. That's disappointing. Let's uh, speed up, you guys, please. All right. We have confirmation. A destroyer is sinking. That is fantastic. Number two is not doing so good. Um, she's got internal fires, but uh, that's about it. All right, here we go. Bringing in our... Uh, really hope these aren't duds. After all this uh, is waiting, they better not be duds. All right, uh, attack. Attack number one, please. Here we go. Coming in. For a torpedo run, that's probably probably uh, a bit too fast there. Let's go this way. I can't see them hitting, but that is unfortunately the luck of the draw. So she's put the brakes on. And those torpedoes are going to sail straight past her. Although her friend might be in a bit of trouble. Although, yes, her friend might be in a bit of trouble. Ready with the smoking compartment. Number two might be in trouble. Let's have a let's have a look. Oh, it's going to be close, isn't it? Yes. Two strikes, and they weren't duds. <laughs> Brilliant. All right, she's definitely in trouble now. Let's bring those Avengers back, actually. I want you guys to come 10,000 feet, and you can be our, uh, our recon. Oh, we haven't done uh, torpedoes in a little while. Um, that's... Feels good to get a 100% strike rate. I am all for that. Um, but the amount of aircraft we've lost isn't good. One, two, three, five. Five there, six. That's a lot of aircraft. We're going uh, to gonna watch this, uh, this, this, this light cruiser for a little bit and um, see if she sinks. Our uh, Japanese cruiser friend here, she did manage to keep on sailing. So she's had um, some rockets and torpedoes. So 
she's going to be under a uh, little bit of stress there. And as you can see, one destroyer sunk for 1,780 tons. We lost more than half of our aircraft. That's, that is disappointing, um, quite frankly. Um, all right, let's have a look, because I did misclick earlier. I know, a shock, shock horror. I, um, I landed the aircraft instead of, um, instead of setting courses. But that happens to the best of us. So let's, um, let's speed up time, see what happens, and see if we can continue to harass this Japanese task force. Avengers from Wasp have arrived. Um, that task force is heading away from where... So they we're sailing down here, and they're they're heading now back up to port. So let's have a let's have a look. I think what we're going to do is we're going to split up our Avengers. Um, I'm going to go and fly to four. So firstly, I can all of you drop down to about there if you can. Uh, Avenger number one, task force. You guys can task this one. This is the one with the damage from earlier. You guys can target him. I want you to attack. Straight up attack already. And then we'll look at these guys and they can... Uh... They can sort of do, uh, do this. 490 feet. So if we set these guys to 490 feet now, That way they don't have to get, uh, get into range and height. All right, here we go, here we go. I want to take a light cruiser out. Ooh, she's being covered by that destroyer. That is a, uh, that's a bold, bold call. Look how green the water is. I mean, it's very shallow too. Like, that is, that is crazy shallow. So... Depth under keel would not be very much. So you wouldn't want to be running a submarine in this water. Um, not at all. So I am assuming both destroyers, all three of the original destroyers, had troops and supplies on board. We did sink one, so that is excellent. All anti aircraft fire coming up now. All right, let's have a look. Here we go. Um, bad, bad uh, position there. That is that's a terrible, terrible position. Uh, she didn't get hit. Don't you lose any. That's, uh, damn it. Here we go. Away, rockets away. Alright, good job. Good job. Oh, secondary explosions. That's what I want to hear. All right, let's go to these guys. Um, they can break. Come up this way. Uh, Avengers just gone down. That is terrible news. I just want to take out number two. I've got to go this way and then come in. They can see them. She's sitting a bit low. I'm going to hit this side. The sign hasn't been here yet. Attack. Uh, no nope. targets. Target number two and attack. Turn in. Turn in. Let's go. Here we go. Coming in right now. Oh, our cruiser friend is burning. Rockets away. Rockets away. Great hits. Got a secondary explosion there. All right, let's get these guys all out of here. I want one. I want one. Avenger reports new contact aircraft. All right, it's a float plane. That's fine. Let's go. 
All right, our destroyer here is in trouble. Is it gonna sink? That's the question. She's completely on fire. Um, they haven't um, they haven't slowed down, which would help with the firefighting efforts, but um, they haven't. You can see the smoke billowing out of the light cruiser there in the background. That is quite excellent. And it would appear they've gotten the uh, the fire under control on the deck there. Swap to the light cruiser and have another look. She's she's in trouble as fire breaks out on deck. We're going to uh, stick with these ships and see what happens. I'll bring you guys back in when the klaxon sounds. Japanese repair crews have managed to contain the fires and uh, and limit the flooding on both the uh, light cruiser and the destroyer. We only lost two aircraft in that run, so that wasn't too bad. We do have Dauntlesses coming in. They are from Enterprise. So fingers crossed we uh, we managed to keep contact with that task force. Let's see if we can get anything out of Wasp. No, not for three hours. How about Enterprise? We can. Do we want Dauntlesses? Yes, yes we do. So let's uh, bring them in to the chase. Task Force Echo is still steaming at best speed for New Hebrides. Let's speed up time and uh, see if we catch this Task Force, shall we? Our Dauntlesses have made it. They have made contact with the Task Force. We do have Avengers in the area, but uh, they are Avengers from the previous attack. So they are heading out. So let's, let's set this up, shall we? All right. Um, Red Squadron, you can attack. Mm, you can attack number one. And purple, you can attack this one. Actually, what we're going to do is we'll attack him with two lots. That's what we'll do. So we're going to give everyone their orders to attack. Dauntlesses are in position. Let's ride on down with them. So they're still uh, nice and green, the water. As you can tell, the ships haven't travelled very far from the last attack. So here we go. Let's see what damage we can do. Anti-aircraft fire coming up from the Japanese task force. And we are bombed away. At least we got one. Oh, wow. That is absolutely fantastic. Couldn't have asked for better hits there. Looks like all of our dancers are getting on out of here. That is a fantastic bombing run. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to want one group back, please. No. back 10,000 feet um, you guys can be my spotters I mean, that was good hits but I'm not seeing any damage no um, one got hit by a dud bomb so that is oh here we go here we go going to be a bit of a catastrophe here. Or are they uh, coming alongside to rescue survivors? Oh, I don't think that's, uh, that's rescuing. <laughs> Let's get out of my way. That's what it is. Oh, yeah, both still have screws still turning. See the see the damage along the uh, bottom of. I mean, we compare it to this um this light cruiser. She's not doing well at all. Well, I thought they would have uh, made each other sink, but um but they didn't. So they press, she's pressing on. 
so we are going to call up the retreat and um and see what the after action report has to say after action report um we have number one with moderate damage and moderate flooding and number two she is critically damaged and has heavy flooding uh number three minor damage minor flooding i'm guessing that is from the incident <laughs> um we dispatched 22 aircraft and we lost none so that that was good um these are our spotters let's actually get them into a position where they can actually do some spotting for us shall we what have we got task force bravo can you give me anything you can good thank you Dauntless is coming in from Enterprise. What else? What else have we got? Task Force E, uh, Wildcats, um, Wasp. Uh, Wasp, you can give me Dauntlesses. That's probably a good thing. Let's go up to here. We're gonna smash them with as many aircraft as we can. That's um, that is basically the plan. So let's. Speed up time, see what aircraft we can get into position. See you guys when the action starts. Another flight of Dauntlesses has made it to harass the task force. Um, oops, they are carrying um, nothing, because this is our um, Dauntlesses from before. Did I get mixed up in task forces? It would appear like I did. All right, let's hurry on out of this engagement. Um, that's not what we want at all. We don't want anyone shot down who doesn't have to be. That is a bit of an embarrassment there. <laughs> Whoops. All right, the right flight of Dauntlesses has made it upon the task force. So, new ship contacts are very good. All right, so what are we? What are we going to attack? Let's let's bring them around, shall we? Do we want to attack from? Do we want to attack from the side, or do we want to attack from the front? No, we'll attack from the front. Why not? Let's bring him in. Um, where is that Kingfisher? All the way up there. She can come this way. Give me ten thousand feet, please. I want you way above the flak. That's so primary target is number two, but we are also going to attack number one as well. So target number one, um, purple can attack two, and it leaves yellow in reserve. Yeah, so bring the aircraft down this way, and then we'll come up to attack. That sounds, uh, that sounds good. Let's speed up time, allow the planes to get into position. That's fine. All right, Kingfish has left the engagement area. That's okay. Break. I want you to come this way, please. Okay. Attack, please. Attack number one. Get in a position and attack. So we have a 1,000-pound armor-piercing bomb and two 500-pound High explosives. Uh, that is the uh, ordinance of choice for my glasses, and that is um, that is what we generally generally have. All right, second squad, in you go. All right, let's uh, let's watch it from not the seafloor experience, but the experience of the poor poor light cruiser. Here we go, diving down already. Here we go. Bombs away. Any moment here, bombs away. There we go, bombs are away. Fantastic hits. So we want to see. Here we go, bombing our friend here. Oh, he's been hit, and he has been hit hard. That is what we want to see. All right, let's bring these guys back around. Who is, uh, she basically has her nose. If she doesn't sink, there is something wrong here. Something absolutely wrong if she doesn't sink. 
Oh, are they going to come together again? It would appear like they are. Would be good. There was one dud bomb in that. Here we go. Are they going to crash? The AI, yeah, they are indeed. Crunch. Well, that, uh, that actually changes targets. What we're going to do is we are going to target... Target these guys. Attack. Actually, no. Targets one at attack. Target of opportunity here. We're going to get some... Uh, hopefully some splash damage. That'd be nice. There's no way you are... How are you still afloat? Seriously. That's amazing. Here we go. This is this is gonna be nuts. This is gonna be crazy. Here we go. Where are our? Well, I do have a dual anti-aircraft fire because well they are together. But let's uh, let's see. Here. Let's go. Bombs away! Bombs away! Bombs away! That was good. I'll uh, I'll take that. I'll take that any day of the week. We did lose one Dauntless. That is disappointing. Very, very, very disappointing there. She's... I reckon they've um, got the pumps back online. She's... Got a bit of water. Is she going to head in and crash as well? What are these light cruisers doing? I think I think she is. Let's let's watch. Let's fast forward. It's coming alongside. Yep. Now. Well, head cannon is there transferring um, troops off that light cruiser, um, and they're going to scuttle her. But um. Oh. We'll see what happens, shall we? All right, let's let's uh, let's get out of the engagement. Oh, let's get out of the engagement area and see what happens. They did not scuttle her. Critical damage, heavy flooding. We are in an absolute bad, bad way. So there are our Dauntlesses from Enterprise returning. Get another round of Dauntlesses up. So that was up here. I reckon by the time... By the time we get up there... They'll be out of range. So I think that is it, to be honest. Uh, that's it with that task force. We just uh, we don't have the capacity to attack them anymore. And that is also going to do it for today's episode. So I hope everyone has enjoyed today's episode. Um, if you have, well, leave me a comment with how you think the uh, the war is progressing in the Pacific. We really sort of only have two more points to take. So we have Milne Bay, and then we have Malate, and that is that is honestly it. So what we might do is once Malate ticks over to our control, we'll load up some troops and we'll head to Milne Bay and, uh, and get it done. I believe we're on the road home, but I reckon I said that around episode 30. <laughs> um... And we all know what happened there, but... But there is still no Japanese carriers. There has not been one in this whole campaign, um, which, to be honest, that, that boggles my mind. The fact that there hasn't been one is crazy. But is one going to appear next episode? Who knows? I'll see everyone on the next episode. Bye for now.